Hi friends, welcome to Holidays at Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden and celebrate Christmas here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today I thought I would share with you how I decorated the front outdoor of our home. I'm using simple porch pots, window boxes, some garland, some lights, and a little surprise ornamentation going on too. Come with me and let's decorate the outside front of our house. And we're starting with a pretty much of a hot mess. The things I have available to me are these Cryptomeria japonica that I trimmed off of the trees in my backyard. This is Skip Laurel that I trimmed off the Skip Laurels in the backyard. These are the pots we're using. Remember I planted these up with jewel toned pansies and some Dusty Miller and I'm hoping they'll last through the winter. This is the remnants of the ready refill container. This is my tutor. And then of course we have the window boxes which have arborvitaes in them and also the pansies and Dusty Miller. Now um, I'm hoping that these two bunches that I purchased at Lowe's will be sufficient. There's some white pine and some cedar. I have some first and second year red twig dogwood stems. First year on the right, second year on the left. And then this is a little bit of juniper, just the tiniest little bit of juniper that I got from the backyard. And again, the urn and the pot. And I'd like to keep the pansies going because they're going to be my color throughout the winter. So I'm hoping to keep the pansies and the Dusty Miller in the window boxes and in those front pots. The urns, again, have the soil and root balls left from the ready refill containers. Now, that's all the greens that I've cut so far, but as you can see, I do have some more greens in my yard. Right in the center of the screen in the far distance is a yew shrub. And then there are some privets and a holly over there that I could take cuttings from if I really need to. Here's a close-up of the yew. This is before I took my trimmings. The deer have eaten the bottom, and I'm going to trim the top. And here's what it looks like after I took my trimmings. You can't really tell. It's kind of ugly anyway, but I did get a lot of nice clippings off of it. Now here are some Nandina Domestica, or Heavenly Bamboo, that we have growing on our side hill. And they're in beautiful full berry right now. I've learned over time that the leaves don't really hold well in porch pots, but the berries do pretty well. So I took some trimmings. I did end up getting some leaves, but the, mainly I was going for the stems of the berries. So that is another element that I have available, those berries and that you. Now, before I get started here, I should say I am not the best person to put together porch pots. I've not really done very many. I'm just gonna give it my best shot today. And again, I wanna use these pansies and um, the Dusty Miller. So I'm gonna start by just sticking some red twig dogwood stems into the center of this soil. I'm just going to put it in there and see how it looks. Yeah, that's a pretty good start. So now I'm going to go in and do them a little bit more sturdy, and there they are, more sturdy. All right, now I think I'm going to use these skip laurels. I've divided them into two so I can do both sides. And I'm going to make a green bunch of skip laurel stems down at the bottom of all of those red twig dogwoods. And there's how that looks. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I like the way the pansies are still there. So is the Dusty Miller, but I've added a little bit of interest of color. So I'm gonna do the same thing over on the left side. And so for now, I think those pots are done. Now the urns. I have this white pine that I got at Lowe's. I divided my bunch into two, and I'm gonna try to insert them in a swirl kind of a pattern around the circle, like a little tutu skirt coming out the side bottom of the arrangement. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. And there it is. It looks a little, uh, we'll say it's whimsical, right? Yeah, whimsical, that's it. And so now I'm going to use this Cryptomeria to make kind of a filler here in this pot. Sticking these branches down in there. How's that look? Yeah, I like that. All right, I filled that out. Moving on. I wanna put these second year red twig dogwoods into these window boxes. And there it is, kind of as a center interest. But it's a little sparse, it needs something. So 
So I put in some of those Cryptomeria branches as well, just to kind of fill it out. I like the way the colors contrast there. And it's whimsical, right? I mean, yeah, whimsical. We'll go with that. Well, I guess I lost the footage where I filled out the urns with more greenery and some of those Nandina berries. But I went ahead and filled the left and the right side window boxes and the left and the right side step boxes and the urns. And now they all match. Unfortunately, I ran out of light and I couldn't finish my project, so I'm going to come back to it another morning. I want to hang some garland. I have some faux garland that I'll be using, and I have already got cup hooks on my door frame, so I'll be able to just use these cup hooks to hold my garland. They stay here year round, they're painted white, and they blend in nicely with the door frame, so they're, you know, they're just cup hooks screwed into the wood framing there. I'm using faux garland mainly because I didn't want to spend the money on the fresh greens to do fresh garland and you know sometimes that's just the choice. So I have three nine foot lengths of garland one on the left one on the right and one across the top and I'm putting lights on them. Now the lights look like they're blinking but they do not blink. This is just how LED lights show up on the camera for some reason. And now I'm putting lights into the urns up around those two tours and also into the window boxes. I fussed around with the lights for quite some time to get them onto the window boxes. I wanted them around the um, Arborvitae's, but I wasn't willing to go get another string. I didn't want that many. Again, I don't know why these lights keep looking like they're blinking, but I don't know. Anyway, so those went up pretty easily, and so it's just a matter of cleaning up and getting things looking a little bit uh, nicer. Standing back and looking at it, I think it was a little crowded up there on the porch, so I decided to move those big square urns, not urns, but buckets, pots, whatever, out to the front. And I think that's a nicer location. It, it frees things up and makes them just look, look a little bit less crowded. Yeah, that's better. So now I have to put away the uh, drip irrigation for them, and I can move the urns into a little bit more of a prominent location. Just making sure I can open the door without running into things. I'm kind of pleased with the way the greenery and the natural elements are coming together with the lights. Everything's looking pretty nice. And I had thought originally that I was just going to stay with all natural elements or faux natural looking elements out here. But as I look at it, you know, I have pansies in the window boxes and in those boxes out that I just put out front. And they are in tones of purple, blue, and kind of a maroon. And there's really not many of them flowering right now, but there are some. So it does show those colors, purple, blue, and maroon, but not significantly. Also, I've got the barberries up here. These are the orange rockets, and they're showing a beautiful color of reddish orange right now. So they're perfect for the Christmas season. Um, and then I've got the Nandina berries in these pots right here that are showing beautiful orangish red berries, and they tie in beautifully with the Nandina. And when you're standing here, here and you're looking you can tie this red of the nandina with the red of the barberry with the red of the um, red twig dogwood but there aren't enough dogwood branches in the window boxes to really stand out as a splash also i use second year dogwood branches so they're not as bright as the ones that i used out front which are the first year which are much more reddish in their coloration so um bottom line to make a long story short sorry i already gave you the long story I want to add some more color and so i was trying to figure out how to add color i don't really have access to any more berries um, all my faux berries that i have can you believe it i've used them up indoors so um i thought i would get out my old 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 ball ornaments that i don't use very often so i figure yes they're breakable they're not the plastic kind uh, but they're really old i don't hardly use them and if they you know get damaged out here Oh well, they're just an outdoor decoration. There's low risk of me being sad if any of these ornaments get broken out here. So let me show you what I got. All right, I have some big, well, big, they're about two and a half to three inch size, uh, blue mat or satin, I guess, and shiny. A couple more here. I've got some matte purple. I've got some smaller matte red, matte green. Here are some more matte green. In this box, I'm not going to be using these because I do care about those. 
but I've got these really small green, uh, purple ones that are shiny that you can see they've been scratched up. They're not in great condition, probably because I stored them like this and they got jostled around and scratched each other. But I think they'll be just fine for outside. I got some bright red shiny, uh, some bright red kind of satiny. These are old balls that I um, embellished. My daughter-in-law and I did this project together a few years ago uh, because they were old and scratched, see like that. And so we just covered up the scratches with sequins and glitter and so forth to kind of salvage them. I might use some of those out here. And then here are some more of those. And then uh, another blue. I probably won't use any gold. So I think I'm just gonna pop these into the containers. And well, I am pretty happy with how these turned out. These are not traditional. Certainly no, nobody else on the street is gonna have these porch pots, but I kind of like the way they are. I mean, little pops of color here and there. I mean, I could have been much more intentional about it. I could have made sure I had sufficient colors of everything and arranged them just so, but you know, I think this is fun. I think it's bright and colorful. I love the jewel tones of it. It's a little bit unexpected, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching this video. I hope you're enjoying a wonderful holiday season wherever you are. And I hope I'll see you again in another video really soon. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.